welcome back to my channel Woo! you guys i have missed y'all very very much i am so excited today to talk about my fitness journey so i talked about my in my other videos i talked about how i have a lot of health issues right and i was born a premature baby and you know i gained a lot of weight and, and it um made me be really skinny um in a very unhealthy way because i just couldn't eat so fast forward to now i ended up gaining a lot of weight because of the um of the whole pandemic and i stopped moving as much as i used to and then i kind of just went into like a very depressive mode because my my um grandmother had passed away at the beginning of 2020 so i ended up gaining a lot of weight i went from like 120 one maybe 116 to 160 pounds right now and i know for some of y'all are probably thinking oh well that's very little weight or things like that these are the type of the comments that i've gotten from people but for me it's very different because i am five feet tall and i'm 23 so my bmi is a bit different i'm supposed to like the the normal bmi limit is like 130 pounds and as i was going through these changes you know i started to get really insecure i i felt like oh i have to be thin to be pretty or or i i have all these stretch marks like i've never had stretch marks in my life and and it was very interesting to to kind of see my body change this way but there was also positives you know i my body started changing and i started to feel more like a woman you know there was more curves and things like that but it got to the point where i got a bit sick and um, i was starting to get my stomach issues again and, and it was starting to hurt a lot so i went to the doctor and they told me you know hey if you don't take care of your weight um you can it can attribute to diabetes and your father and your mother are diabetic so you need to really take care of yourself so i made the decision in january i was like you know what naila you've always wanted to be in dance classes you've always wanted to be a dancer and i you've never had the opportunity to do it so you know what start looking for a dance studio and i started to put myself out there and i started calling and, and i am an adult so i thought you know i'm too old for this i'm 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 never i'm not gonna be a dancer like i don't have these athletic skills that all these girls have and they're younger and they're more energetic and you know the technique it, it takes years to develop and things like that and i ended up stumbling upon this dance studio called allegro ballet school and i call you know the director and i'm like hey you know do you guys offer adult ballet classes and she said well we have offered and we've had some adults come in to dance who have been former dancers or just people who have never danced before and you know you can come out and try it so i started to do it and i remember that i had been praying a lot to god and saying you know lord i i really want to get out there i really want to get out of this excess energy out you know i'm working from home i'm sitting a lot it's making me very anxious making me very emotional you know and i felt really lonely like i just felt like oh i don't have any friends like things are not getting better like i'm getting really emotional i'm getting really sad and i ended up going to this dance school and all of the the younger girls and and the boys they were so accepting of me and so loving and and when i would tell them you know i struggle to do this and they would cheer me on and and this is what i'm at right now where i never thought that i would be able to be a dancer i always thought that it was something so out of reach for me because you know growing up my parents just couldn't afford it and in in high school i was in choir not necessarily dance and i couldn't take both and now i see myself improving and i've actually lost three pounds i'm at 157 now and i'm you know i started a meal plan and i started to um be on this monthly meal plan that i pay like a catering service to do for me because it's just easier for me in terms of work and things like that and i'm just so happy and it's such a new experience for me and then and i really I, it really became an emotional thing for me because I thought, wow, like I'm doing what I've always wanted to do. And I know for some people, 
some people may think, oh, it's too late for me. Like, I'm too old or things like that. But it is never too late to go after your dreams. And I really do hope that you guys take my fitness journey or my fitness experience and, and see it as an inspiration to go do what you've always wanted to do. You know, we've only have one life and these past few years with the pandemic have really showed us that we need to keep going and we need to to do all the things that we've always wanted to do i love you all very very much please like subscribe comment on you know if you've struggled with fitness or you know if you've always wanted to do certain you know physical activity and things like that um, for my next video, I am going to be talking about my work, like my career and my experience with finding a job during the pandemic and after college and things like that. I love you all very, very much. Bye!